so we're going to go ahead and get started with the swivel base. I'm going to put the uh, center of these circles right here at zero, 0. Notice that this drawing is in millimeters, but we haven't yet switched over to um, a, a millimeter or a metric drawing. So we're going to go ahead and just draw this one on a regular drawing um, as you've been doing in the past. Um, we're going to look at the, I'm going to go ahead and draw the first circle. And I'm going to use this radius of 30 because that's the largest circle that we have. And it will just, uh, we'll just zoom extents when we get to that point and we'll see the circle. You won't see it at first. So I'm going to go to 0, 0 and type in a radius of 30. And it went out um, so large that you, you can't see it on the initial screen. So I'm going to double click my scroll button now. Click, click, and there we go. There's that circle. So that is a, a radius of 30, which is a diameter of 60. So we're going to just um, knock out the other two diameters. We have two. Uh, one has a diameter of 20. So I'm going to point to the outside of the circle, and it's going to lock in to the circle in the middle. So let's do 20, and then another circle diameter with a 30. All right, so that gives us the... Uh, three concentric circles right there, and the, when I say concentric, meaning that they share the same centers. Um, we're going to go out, go ahead and draw out the 48, um, locate that circle, and then 96, and then locate those two circles. So just going from the center of the circle, I'm going to draw a construction line over. I'm going to make sure my ortho is on, so I'm going to hit the F8 button to turn on ortho. That's the icon down here at the bottom. I want that on so I don't have to hit the tab button and type in zero degrees. I'm going to go to circle diameter of 10. And then I'm going to go back and draw another line in the same center, out 96. And then I'm going to draw the other two circles. One has a radius of 20, and then the other one has a diameter of 20. All right, so that's pretty easy to lay out. So I'm going to make sure that um, I have my quadrant object snap set for this intersection here. So I'm going to draw out this line at 60 as specified down here. Over here, I don't have a length given, so I'm just going to draw out a random length line. This is the area right here that usually um, is the part where you just have to think about what you're you know what you're looking at you know the this arc right here has a quadrant that is perpendicular to this line here and then somewhere in here we have an intersection we just don't know the length, the the angle of that arc so we've got to just draw this and you'll see once we get into this how you can figure that out using just some geometry so I'm going to draw this line over like I said 60 I'm going to do that for the top and the bottom Oops, and then I don't have a length over here, so I'm just gonna just draw a random line, and you know I'm making I'm clicking to my quadrant object snaps. If you don't have that um, pop up with the little diamond, you want to make sure that quadrant is selected right here. So I'm just right clicking on my object snaps, going to quadrant, making sure that's checked. That's one that you want to keep on all the time because we're always pulling. Um, points quad, from a quadrant of a circle. Alright, so I've got that laid out. Um, I can go ahead and erase those two lines. Those are just construction lines. And we'll trim that out in just a second. So I'm going to go ahead and draw a circle with a radius of 15. Okay, I'm going to take this circle and I'm going to move it. So I'm using the move command. I'm going to move the circle from this quadrant right here down to um, that line. This just happens to get um, create the intersection, so that's what I'm looking for. If your circle is too far over to the right, just use the move command and drag the circle to the left. We, we want to keep this intersection right here together. We want to create um, an intersection because the next thing we're going to do is we're going to move the circle from the intersection right here to that endpoint. Okay, because this line is 60 and it stays 60. We don't know the length of this line. We still don't know it, but we just know that this circle has to be quadrant. The quadrant has to be perpendicular to the line 
and it has to be on the end point of that circle, and that's the way we figure that out. I'm going to go ahead and draw, do that at the bottom. Again, circle, radius 15. Move the circle from the quadrant perpendicular. Move it down to where we have an intersection. And then move it again from the intersection to the end point. Now I'm going to use my trim feature. I'm going to use the trim all, so I'm going to hit trim, hit enter to make everything trimmable, and I'm just going to start clicking on everything that I want to erase. And it is simple, oops, I forgot the other one. And it is simple, oh, come on. There we go. And it is simple as that, so make sure you save that as the swivel base. 